Welcome to another Sunday night. Tonight's experiment is paint. And I have sponges and all kinds of stuff. I'm just going to try out some experiments that I've seen on different YouTube and TikTok videos. Hey, Tiffany. Um... Mark's streaming right now. Um, got the Labrador Puppy Show on on his channel. Uh, can you see what I'm doing now? Can you see... Um, Hi, Sharon. Yep, and there's me. 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 Yeah, I'm having problems now too. 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 All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And it's repeating. All right. All right. Stepping. All right. And it's repeating. All right. All right. Stepping. All right. So I turned off my audio, um, anyway, I guess there's, um, an echo since I'm using one device to record and one to listen so um anyway I guess my husband's asleep or I'd have him watch the chat for me 
But anyway, here we go with some experiments. Going to be doing some painting tonight. I don't know if you guys, can you guys see that? I'm just going to be opening up random painting bottles. Lovely. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to be able to chat with you guys. And, um, so I turned up a little phone volume. Anyway, let's go do some painting. I don't know either. Can you 
you guys see my paper? It's just, um, Apple Barrel, uh, from Michaels. So I'm going to start out with sky blue and Caribbean, which is an ocean blue kind of color. I'll try to keep track of my comments. Okay, so... And then I, uh, I can put the link in my, um, I can put the link in to my store in, in, um, the, in the chat if you want me to, uh, put these on my store when I get rolling. Okay, it might be a little right to do the experiment that I want to do. But anyway, here we go. Ooh, check this out. Nice and dotty. And here's something called Laguna. That's also a watery co water color, water-ish color. I am looking for some other bluish types. Admiral blue. Let's see what that does. If I can open it. And to start out with, I'm just going to, before it all dries up, I'm just going to dot it with some, and probably have to do it again. But I think this will make some nice skies.
Oh, it's finally cooling down in here. Had to turn the AC on. Cleaning their nails don't work, and I probably should have had my bottles all opened up beforehand. Let's see, I'm gonna have to use scissors, probably. Hope I don't stab myself in the chest like I do with my bra um, underwires. Hate them things. some of this to our blue sky. Some more foil. Dab it with some brushing. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Can you guys see that? I should have put some scrap paper down before I started doing this. Take this and separate that so that I can use some scraps. And I hope that Mark gets his uh, stuff straightened out. Ooh. Ooh, look at how those blended together. I like that. Ooh. Ooh, bring a little bit down. I used to do this kind of stuff with my mom's craft paint when I was a kid after um, she was done using it for her stencils. Sorry, I'm up starting so late, guys. Um, it was really stressful or stressed out earlier. Um, so, um, yeah, I was thinking of doing jewelry, and then I saw the paint, and I saw some scrappy stuff, and I was like, well, let's see what we do. See if I can find another lighter color. And I do have a little dollar store, a little uh, palette here if I feel like mixing up colors and stuff like that. Okay, so let's see. That's going to be it for that. So let me see. 
I'll add some more lighter blue into it. I play music or something, but you know, copyright laws and all that nonsense. So, add some texture. Add some up here, blend it up here a little bit. Here. See what happens. Oh, it's coming through nicely. Okay, so blend this down again. Oh, look at that. Um, Crisscross. Yeah, and I got some of my uh, lingo from watching um, Bob Ross when I was in college. High school and college, because Bob Ross came on after Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes is on one channel, and Bob Ross was on PBS, the only other channel I pretty much got in my neighborhood. So, Mr. Ross, I hope you appreciate this. I, I hope that, you know, you're getting a good chuckle out of it, wherever you are wandering the universe. Rest in peace. Now that blended quite nice. That looks very nice. Um... Oh, yeah, so um, is it too early to be planning for uh, Christmas decorations? Because um, I do have things that um, I can put in my shop for Christmas ornaments. I have uh, stock, little stockings and little wreaths and little angels and all kinds of little things that, um, I might put bo a box set in my shop because, um, postage is so expensive for these little things because of the size of the packaging. Because with the little angels, I don't want to smash them. I want them to be able to stand up. So I'd have to put them in a box. And at craft fairs, I sell them for 5 bucks, But the postage for the box is eight fifty. So, you know. So we'll have to figure something out. Maybe you guys can help me with some pricing and... Try some watery blue Laguna color. Alrighty. Now that's nice. And it's dry, so it dries quick, too, so maybe the colors won't all blend all the way. And this says Caribbean, so... Um, let's see. Uh, Very simple kindergarten 
And I'm getting it all over my t-shirt, but um, it blends in with my t-shirt. Oh, well. I don't know if it's washable. Hope so. Don't really care, but we'll see. Make some nice swirling patterns. Blend it into the horizon there with the sky and the ocean color. So maybe I should have brought some more sky downwards. I can always add more sky paint. doing this. I like, this is like getting some frustration out and some anxiety from earlier today. And look at that. That's going to blend really nice in the middle. It actually looks like some waves on the horizon, but that may change as I do this. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Blend this down a little bit. Blend it out. Yeah, Sharon, I wish I could see your paint, your uh, Christmas tree painting, your little pine cones. Um, I would love it if your sister would let you join my um, Google group. Um, I'm thinking about um, putting my uh, texting number up so that she can text me, but um, anyway... I don't want to get, you know, too much into that yet because, um, you know, how well do we really know each other, you know? Hey, Carly Stone. So anyway, got it. so far I got a nice sea and sky. What did I do with the rest of my little brushes? Because I don't want to use the same little brush. Here we go. And this is another part of my Dollar Tree haul. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of white. Once again, if I can find my scissors, so I can open this. Thank you, everybody, for your uh, likes and please share and. Share my channel. Oh, the air conditioning is finally working. I don't know why it took me so long to put it on, but it took forever to cool the room down.
Carito. Hey, Rich, are you still awake? I seriously was not going to go on tonight. I can understand that, Carly. I have a um, similar situation with my mom. But I had fun last night with the guys. Went out with my son and my husband and played um, 1980s video games. For three hours until my knees collapsed. I have no idea why I can't get these open. Remember how much trouble I was having with that Dremel? And I finally figured it out. Yay. Alrighty. Some... Got some white along the... Now check this out. Instead of using the aluminum foil, I'm going to take a bunch of Q-tips, cotton swabs, whatever you want to call them, and just dab it out. Dab it up a little bit. And that's a little bit of playfulness in the ocean, some little wave crest. Yeah, it doesn't say whether it's washable or not, but we'll see.
color to make a good shoreline but um sand and all that other stuff and pastels I can do it really good I do have pastels somewhere but not a whole lot I don't know where all of them went ooh I found the seam Oil for my And sometimes there's no sand along the water line. Sometimes it's just a nice little patch of grass and everything blends in. And wow, this is a lot of fun. And of course, blend in the sides, didn't blend in the whole side. I'll fix that later. And I'm just gonna, yeah, I don't wanna totally brush the whole thing, so. Dab, dab. But see if I can brush a little bit into, but not too much. Yeah, it is acrylic paint. Yeah, I know it might not wash out, but oh well. I should have worn a different shirt, but. I have some uh, stain remover stuff. I have some goop, so I'm going to try that. I can, or some dishwashing liquid or something. There we go so far. What I miss?
Okay, let's see. What should I do next? A little bit of this and that and the other thing. How about some little flower buds in our little field and stream or whatever? Now I'm starting to think it's more of a, a riverside than a beach than an ocean because there's not too much sandy color because I don't have any sandy color. I'm about ready to use my teeth to open this thing up. So, I think I'm going to have to add some more little white to the uh, actual, and I'm dotting it too much, too heavy now. But this is fun. Pick up some of the pink from here. And bring it over here. Horizon, some nice flowers, floral. Let's see if I have any purpley color. I might want to add some more yellow to that. See that? The yellow's not coming out too well. The yellow is okay. And maybe some of the yellow and purple and pink mixed together will make some nice orange because we didn't put any orange in here. So. I have that I can add into here. 
Ooh, this says crimson. Ooh. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to get more than just the starter pack of these colors because this is freaking awesome. These are beautiful. I got these at Michael's, so I'm going to have to see what they have at the dollar store that's not as expensive. They had something similar. Can't store it all. Let's see. Scissors. And I could tell last night how long it's been since I played video games because I really sucked. But I never gave up. I kept playing as long as I could. One flat admission and all the games you want to play. They have a bar, but, you know, my husband and I, we don't drink alcohol. And my son does, so, you know, he's 23, so that's his thing. He can do it. That's going to be too much. I think I'll add more green to that. And it's probably going to color the table, too. I see some paint scraps in the background, so he's not going to be happy about that. So, put some there. Just to see what happens when you use the little corner tip of this. Oh, that's nice. That blends in really nice. Why should five-year-olds have all the fun? Oh, and now it looks like a little bit like it's reflecting because 
down in this area looks like a reflection of what's up here. That's really cool. So sweet. Thank you all for joining in my little painting adventure. I love this. This is freaking awesome. I wasn't going to do this tonight. I wanted to do some more jewelry, you know, for the start festival in uh, September next month. But um, I thought I would do some painting just to blow off some steam. So now I am going to break out my palette because I want to do some lines with some paint. So oh, they make these things childproof so that a five-year-old can open them, but a grown-up can't. I wasn't going to go last night because I felt really sad and tired, but, you know, I just felt like I should go have some fun. See, you know, I was going to bring some ske sketch work with me just in case I got bored, but, you know, I actually was not bored. I was like, got the adrenaline rush from playing Centipede. And I don't suck as much as I used to. Brown in there. I was hoping to make some real thin lines for tree trunks, but oh well. No, it definitely looks like a five-year-old painted that. But guess what? Who cares? Ooh, I for forgot all about this color. It says Lime Aid. It's a really bright, bright green, yellow green. Yeah, I definitely want to get down to the specialty store and get some. Uh, Different shades of brown pastels. Because I don't know where half my stuff is. We rearrange stuff so much in this tiny little place.
how this works. Oh, that actually makes blades of grass look good. Great. Too close together. Let me try this one. Ooh, I like the way this is coming out. And I think I hid my little uh, pink and uh, other flowers. So let's try. Let's put some more in. How about I just squeeze out a little bit, look for the Q-tip I was using, and then just try to add some more pink back into my And I wanted to do some tree effects, but oh well. I'm not going to show everything. I love abstract art. Abstract is my favorite because you can do just about anything. I think, well, oh well. What? This one is still attached to something. So, um, still let that dry now. And then I can, I can put that in my shop. Don't know where I can let it dry. And this here is pretty cool that this was the edges of the um, work that I've been doing.
I might just continue with that. See what I can come up with. Let's see here. How about some sky blue? Mix it with some Caribbean. Then some green. Get really funky. And it's on my finger, so first I'll do that. Then I'll get in here and mix it up a little bit. And boom, boom, boom. Oh, now that's cool. Instead of starting in the top of the painting, I'm starting in the middle. How about that? I like the way these blues and greens blended together. This is so much fun. Fun, 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 fun. You need a little bit of that lighter green in there. Pick up some of the mix. So I'm basically just taking the pic papers that I had underneath it and working with that to see what I can come up with since the stuff underneath it has some runoff from what's on here. So I figure I can do what I want. It's my painting. I wound up falling off the table, so I'm going to have to Who knows, I might end up repainting the whole table Add some different stroke patterns. Go back and get some clean blues. 
some of the white. And one, 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 one. Gotta push this onto the table. Um, you know what, Sharon? I might add, um, I think I'm going to add painting to my channel. I know it's mostly been jewelry, but I think I'm going to add some painting to my channel. The, you know, I am not the best teacher. I don't have a teaching degree, but um, And I should have probably gotten myself some water. Sorry, you guys can see me texting on my... Well, I'm on here because I'm filming from my Chromebook and I'm texting on my phone. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check out what other colors they have, see what they have, because this is so much fun. Foil. Oh, now the foil makes a nice flower pattern. Well, that's nice. Pick some of that over here. Just barely a little dab. And like I said, I'm just, I don't even know the channels that I'm copying. So if somebody find my work and they say it's from one of their tutorials, please give me a heads up, tag it, so you get credit. Nice field of red flowers. some more here because this corner needs some work. I don't think I have any purple. So I wonder what would happen. If I mix a little blue. A little white. Find a clean brush. 
or a clean Q-tip or something. And it already mixed up. How about that? Check that out. Put some glue in there, which I should have used my foil instead of my brush. So, where did I put it? Get another piece. Dollar store foil. Here we go. Where's the nutmeg brown? Where's the yellow? Okay. It looks like mustard. Oil and mash it out and make little dots and little strokes. And of course, one side is always going to be got more pink on this side, more yellow on this side. again too much all in one area Grab some yellow and dab it out. And dab it out. Try to pick up as much as possible. And
very abstract field of flowers. Add some more green. Blend it into the sky. I know the sky is looking kind of skimpy now, but oh well. Oh, wow, snakes. What did I miss, you guys? Well, that's two paintings. This one is basically, basically dry. This one hasn't looked, hasn't dried yet, but it looks almost the same as the other one. I was not trying to do that. I want two different pictures, totally different pictures. So... A little white in there. A little mix up. Very lightly dots. Although it's not very lightly. But at least there's some white in there now. Please be careful with snakes and other and reptiles and other animals. Add some blue to try to make it a little different from the other one. Just gonna use up what is left in here. Try to make it look different from the other one. Although the sky and water in this one are much darker. Or is it this way? Which I can't even remember. I think it was this way. I think it was that way. I can't remember. So let's add some more blue.
very light little tent disc. Very light little tent disc. Very light little touches with blue flowers. Or it could be little spots of blue, a little stream, whatever. Huh. Hold on, let me see. It is my shop name. And since they're basically the same, almost the same, maybe not.
one has actually a water line and a bigger skyline, and the other one has more flower and field area. So, okay. I almost painted my glasses.
earlier today I was doing some doodling just with a compass and some uh, crayons and stuff. Uh, I don't know what I did with those. I was just doing it on the computer paper like these. And I was going to color them in randomly like a abstract fractal art. Um, but haven't gotten a chance to do it yet. Um, okie dokie. Well, I'm going to do one last painting, I think, with the random junk that's in my um, little uh, paint palette there. I think I need more foil. That one's getting kind of flat. And if you guys try this, make sure that you don't scrunch up your paper too tight. Make sure it's got some nice grooves and uh, ridges to pattern your work. And just little tiny little dabs all over the place. And next time I'll try to bring out my pastels because I love those. I love the chalk kind and the oil kind. They're not quite as messy as paint, but they blend so nicely. I need some more green. It's a green machine. Actually, like that kind of juice. Green machine. From, uh, I think it's uh, Barely Naked or something. Am I allowed to mention juice and things that I like on my channel? I hope so. Hope they don't ban me for that. And right now I'm just randomly. I don't know why I started with the green up at the top because now it was going to be the sky, but this looks nice. Yeah, make sure you still don't dab it too hard because you'll smash out all your little textures. And if you like, you can leave some room to fill in other colors, or you can overlap your colors. see what happens if I turn actually turn the foil into another direction and try to pick up a little bit of brown a little brown dirt Just 
brown, a little green. Oh, now that's really nice. And I'm not paying as much attention to the chat as I would like because, like, I have stuff all over my hands. And I still can't get my tripod, my uh, cell phone things to stand up and stay up. So, unfortunately, Whoa. Hey, at least this one's turning out a little different from the other paintings. And I might even make, save this tie-dye mashup dirty painted foil and make a craft with it. Who knows? Maybe maybe if I put some Mod Podge over it, I can make little beads. Little paint foil, nasty little cute little paint foil beads. Yes, I'm gonna be dexterous. Yay! All right, now I do need some blue for water. Alrighty, let's see here. I think I'm going to blend in some water. I know I've been having fun with the foil, but it's getting late and I want to finish up. And that's actually not too bad. I'm going to try and dab and not swipe. You know, I want to keep some of the dotty texture. There's that word I create again. Dotty, 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 dotty. Yeah, some of this is all flattening out from being used too much.
Oh, and this is an interesting color here. I'll try and do some crisscrossing here. And of course, I just stuck my finger in it. That's kind of a green looking sky, but oh well. And I'm just gonna drop splatter some light. Try to make some clouds. Or some field effects or something. Oh, that's really nice. And just to use some brown up, I'm going to get some brown and some green. And da 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 Three paintings. Hey Savage, I just noticed I just noticed you came in. Sorry, I just um was busy. How you doing, Miss B? I actually might do some canvas painting sometime. I've got some huge canvases, but um, just don't have anywhere to put them. So that's my three paintings for tonight. And they're all almost the same and they're all a little different. So, that's the third one. This is number three. This is number two, a field of red flowers, I think. And this is the first one that's a field 
buy some water also. So when those dry, those will be going up in my shop. I think I'm going to um, do the edges a little bit. Or maybe I'll even uh, mat them or something. Because I don't like negative spaces on the edges. I was always taught to fill up all the white. So the paper's kind of wet and weak right now. So I'm just going to have to just... Let it kind of I might even add some more um, blue color later sky blue color add it and yeah what I did was I used the, the Papers that were underneath that had little smudges on them. And I just ran with that and you know, don't waste anything. There we go. I actually think I had that backwards. Yeah, this was the bottom. This was the grassy area. But maybe if I put a little bit of green up here, it'll look like there's a tree or something off to the side, you know? Who knows? If I put little greens up in there, maybe there'll be a, just a canopy of trees. Gotta make sure I put close all the tops on my paints. Because we all know I spill stuff, so. And I just got paint on my cell phone screen. Well, it's almost midnight and um, I do need to take my uh, medications for my um, nightly routine. So I'm just going to let this one dry. And tomorrow I'll touch it up with some more textures and other things if I need to. Because make sure the edges are all clean. So. Um, when those dry. I'm going to have to figure out uh, shipping on these because I don't know um, how much shipping is going to be if I, depending on how I mail these because um, shipping is um, not that expensive. So, well, for the other things. But I don't know what shipping is going to be for this thing because it's bigger. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can go to Staples and have them tell me how much they think it would cost. Oops, sorry, I, um, shoot. Sharon, I'm sorry, I deleted your message. Um, I don't know how to put it back, um, about your rain. I was trying to wipe the paint off the screen, so I didn't mean to delete or block anybody or on. Or take the screwdrivers away. So, um, you know, let me know if you, if there's anything going wrong with the chat. Because um, 
I shouldn't be painting and holding my phone at the same time. So, uh, Sharon, I didn't mean to uh, delete your message about the rain. Um, I don't know. So I guess I better let these paintings dry and then um, find out how much postage is going to be. See if I can actually, you know, as long as postage is less than 10 bucks, you know. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Ladies, I mean, I haven't seen any guys come in. Just this ladies. Um, anyway, it's been fun. And I got to clean up my table, table before this stuff dries and gets ruined and my husband won't be happy about that. So, um, good night. And um, let's see. Today's Saturday, so um, Matt's doing his show tomorrow. So um, I'll be. It'll be exciting to see what he does with that. I have no money either. I have no money to buy from his show tomorrow. Um, so I will, um, maybe I'll get some, uh, I don't know, dollar store frames and put the pictures in frames. They probably wouldn't last long, but, um, Yeah, when these when these are finished, they'll go up in my shop for twenty dollars each, and then um, anyway. So I hope you guys have a good night. I'm still, you know. You know, I did have a nap late tonight, so, um, anyway. And when I hope get some more money, I hope I can go out to the arcade with my son again. That's funny. That was fun. I just, I don't want to cramp his style. He is, you know, a young guy, you know, young single guy, so. So I guess I'll say good night, ladies. You don't want to see me scratching my nose. Oh. 
I don't know why the uh, chat in this is. Um, Yeah, so, um, anyway, see you guys tomorrow night in Matt, Mark's, uh, Matt's chat, and hopefully Mark's too. I don't, I haven't watched his, uh, chat about his puppies, so, anyway, good night, folks.